Let's look at the alternative pathway of complement activation. Let's begin. This pathway deals with the automatic lysis of C3 complement protein into C3A and C3B. Now C3B have a thioester bond which can be easily attacked by a nucleophilic complex. Normally water attacks there and can cleave that fragment leads to the generation of uh, functionless C3B molecules in the serum. But sometimes when C3B is present in very close proximity with the target cell, in that case some proteins or molecules on the surface of the target can attack this thioester bond and that can help the formation of a covalent linkage between the C3B molecule and the surface molecule of the target pathogen. It ultimately causes the C3B2 properly anchored with the cell. Then another protein called B comes in which is cleaved by C3B's enzymatic activity of the D factor and it's cleaved into BB and BA. BA is the small subunit which is diffused away while BB remain attached to the C3B on the surface. Now always happens in complement that A parts are diffused and B parts present. One easy way to remember is that always in complement pathway the A parts are smaller and that always diffuse away. So A diffuses away. B stays there. By this same fashion, the C3B, capital B, small b, this complex acts as a C3 convertase and this complex is stabilized by another protein called properidine. So that is a stabilized C3B, BB complex. It is a C3 convertase that kind of resembles the classical pathway C4B, C2B complex, which also is a C3 convertase. So once we produce this C3 convertase of alternative pathway by C3B, BB, it can cleave C3 complement into C3B and C3A. So more C3 molecules can come, cleaved into C3B and C3A, which diffuses away. C3B, however, in the same fashion embedded and attached to the specific surface molecule of the target pathogen. By this fashion, sooner a lot of C3B molecules start to be attached to the membrane surface of the target pathogen. So, it's a huge cascade of reaction that start occurring very very fast once one C3B BB complex is formed it has the ability to to activate and attach so many molecules of C3B in the same fashion as you see by the same mechanism sooner a lot of C3B BB complex start to form that can further cleave C3 complexes and as a result a lot of C3B is embedded and attached to the membrane surface in very less amount of time. Once this C3B BB complex formed, then it has one function of opsonization that will help phagocytosis to kill this target pathogen. Or on the other hand, it will also bring all those C5 to break C5 down into C5A and C5B. And the rest of the process will follow the classical pathway mechanism that we've studied. Because this C3B BB will act as a C3 convertase that can involve and in such fashion once C3B is developed that C3B can cleave C5 into C5A and C5B. And once it's formed C5B it is attached to the membrane C5A will be diffused then the rest of the process will be the activation of membrane attack complex. Let's see the same part of the classical pathway again because that's the process which is followed there. Now we know that we have ultimately formed C3B, C2B and C4B complex. This whole complex is known as C5 convertase. Now if you look at here the process of C5 convertase, they start form what is known as a membrane attack complex or MAC that will ultimately kill the cell by changing the osmotic balance of a cell. Let's look at how it exactly do the whole process. Here it comes. C3, this is C5 convertase. There's, it converts a lot of C3B, C2B and C4B. C5 convertase cleaves those C5 into C5A and C5B. Let's look at that. C5 comes into the place. It's cleaved into C5A which is diffused and C5B. 
Now the C5B keeps attached with the C3B complex there which is near to the cell membrane of the target pathogen. Then it will recruit many different types of complement proteins called C6, C7 and C8. Here C7 and C8 are having a hydrophobic region which help them to be embedded in throughout the cell membrane of the target pathogen. Then it will recruit another set of proteins known as C9. A lot of C9 proteins will be embedded throughout the cell membrane to form a channel or a pore known as membrane attack complex. Once the membrane attack complex is formed, as a result of this pore formation, ions start releasing from the cell outside the cell. As a result, the cell will start to die due to the result of osmotic imbalance.